we are celebrating emerging leaders from around the world who are working to advance sexual and reproductive health and rights. We worked with the Public Health Institute to create a new initiative, the Youth Champions Initiative. The Youth Champions Initiative brought together 19 youth leaders from Ethiopia, India, Pakistan, and the southern part of the United States. They've been here for a week-long incubator to provide training, tools, and resources, which will enable them to design and implement innovative projects to improve sexual and reproductive health and rights in their own communities. And after talking to them today, we know they're going to go home and just change the world. At the Packard Foundation, we know that too often women and girls in all corners of the globe are denied their rights to quality reproductive health services. They're deprived of voice, of knowledge, of power, and they're often silenced by stigma and fear. My ideal wish is to be able to speak to everyone openly about sex, like having no taboo around sex. The future that I envision um, it's the society where uh, we can, you know, exercise basic rights such as our bodily autonomy without uh, the fear of judgment. The youth are today's choice and today's challenge, so it's going to be up to our generation to step up to the plate and start to address these tough issues and advocate for the youth.